Hello, my lovely Libras. Hope everybody's doing good. Libra, I'll be reading for you, but I can also be picking up on the cross watcher or a third party, which could be anybody, okay? So remember, you could always flip the roles as a, as it is a collective, okay? So if you need a personal reading, all my information is in the description down below, okay? My beloved ancestors, guys, protectors, God and goddesses, I ask you to protect my energy and the energy of those here listening and bring forward the messages that they need to hear, whether good or bad, or for clarity, all for their highest good. I couldn't do this without you, spiritual team. My appreciation for you is endless. Everyone, may your spiritual team protect you all. Shit gets real here and here, people. So, if the story don't fit, please don't make it fit. Look at your other placements. I do them all, okay? Because sometimes, you know, you got to remind people. So, let's see. What's going on here with Libras? ¿Qué está pasando, mi nena, con los Libranos aquí? Vamos a ver. I don't know why the cards just flipped all over the place. Let's see what's going on with Libras. Minera. What does Libra need to know right now? With love, friends, family, everything in their energy. What do they need to know right now at this moment? Minera. What do they need to know? Hmm. Somebody's praying for you not to move forward. Somebody doesn't want you to move forward, Libra. Somebody here that you either promised something to or you wanted to, or they wanted to be with you and you kind of like, you said yes or no, whatever the fuck it was. And I feel like for the energy that I'm picking up, I feel like this person thinks you owe them something or that you, um owe them something for the rest of your life and it's like the, you know it's like the wheel is in reverse it's like they don't want you to move forward it's like they don't want you to uh, commit to anybody they don't want to they don't want you to meet anybody you feel me they don't want you to meet anybody and end up getting married with anybody it's like they're having a little bit of trouble with money and so are you libras but it's like they're they don't want you to move forward it's like they want you to have financial problems and not moving forward and they might be wishing or fucking doing some shit to um just for this to happen to you let me see what is going on here with libras they were silent. look at this <laughs> like what the fuck mm -hmm. Yeah, Libras, you got a person here that, there's a person here that I feel like they obsessed with you. I feel like they loved you at some point, or you might have loved this person at some point. But as I feel like you walked away from this person, and I feel like you left this person really, really in a bad energy. And I feel like they left you really fucked up at some point, but you you got out of that. You feel me? It's like you got out of that point of being like used and promised and, you know, going back and forth with a person and wondering if this person's ever going to love you and give you what you deserve. You feel me? And you move forward, but this person isn't having it. It's like this person wants to come out and say things. Or make up stories about you. And it's like I'm hearing que tu lo sabes. It's like you're a human fucking lie detector. Libras. You know what the fuck this person's all about. You feel me? It's like... You know, this person is praying for your fucking downfall. They don't want you to meet anybody. They don't want you to find love. They don't, want, they don't even want you to love yourself. Because at some point, I feel like... You depended so much on this person or whatever the case was. But it's like... They left you in a position where you had to leave this person because they were no good. They were not helping. They were not giving you what you needed. They were not satisfying you in know, type of way. It's like their wheel was all flipped upside down and that made your fucking life flipped upside down. You feel me? You had no sugar coating in your motherfucking mouth. You told this person many times, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to leave you. You know, I'm going to leave you fucked up. You feel me? And they thought that you wouldn't do that, but you did. You got out of that. And it's like, you are loving yourself the most, Libras. You ain't looking for no motherfucking love for what I'm seeing here. You ain't you ain't looking for love for some of y'all. For some of y'all, you might be looking for love. But it's like, 
You know, it's like more like I'm tired of fucking people coming in and I'm not getting what I deserve. You feel me? And this person promised too much and never gave shit. It's like a very conniving, manipulating liar is what I'm picking up here. But she's laughing in the back saying, you know this. Like you put yourself in a situation where you knew. Look at this. Justice. Libra, this is you right here. Bringing balance to yourself. Bringing justice to your damn self. Putting strength in whatever you're doing. You've been working on yourself, Libras. Mostly to love yourself. To love yourself. Because whoever comes through to you, Libra, they're going to have to love you real right, real strong, and they're going to have to give you the balance that you've never had in your motherfucking life is what I'm hearing. Because you're all about balance. You feel me? And I feel like this person is either doing something behind the scenes or under the scenes or doing spells or doing some kind of shit because I feel like, you know, I feel like they know somebody and they go to see somebody to see how you're doing, but I feel like they check up on you sometimes to see how you doing, but they're thinking about you. I feel like they're obsessed with you. I feel like because you walked away when you were in a very crazy-ass position that they put you in, it's like you didn't sugarcoat that mouth or sugarcoat anything, and you moved on. You possibly ended up with somebody else that balanced your scales. You feel me? When I say balance your scales, like Libras, you got to be balanced. I'm a Libra, so I know how that goes. We got to be Sometimes, you know, Libras get confused and, oh, because Libras want it that way and Libras want it this way and Libras always got to be this way. Nah, Libras want everything in order. Libras want everything to be balanced. Libras don't like the fuckery. Yes, the, you know, I see a lot of fuckery here that you've entertained and I've entertained myself being a Libra, but we really like the balance. We really like the order, the, you know, the coming together, the fixing the things, whatever we can fix. If we can't fix it, then, you know. When all hell breaks loose, that's when people start running. You feel me? Because people think that Libras are very, very, like, vulnerable and you could just get a Libra and fuck them up. Nah. We just try to fix things. You feel me? And I feel like this is what somebody here has been trying to do. And you put every single strength you had in your soul with this person. And it's like everything you did for this person, they didn't appreciate you or they're not appreciating you right now. But if I feel like this person is very into themselves trying to, like... In their thoughts, in their energy, they could be doing spells, they could be wishing upon it, they could be mouthing it, they could be eyeing it, but they don't want you to move forward. They don't want you to find nothing else while they're with somebody, you feel me, while they're doing their thing. But you know what? All this shit's going to get flipped over on them because you just can't wish that on somebody that you fucked up and you walked away doing your damn self. Looking for yourself before you find somebody else. You feel me? Bringing justice in for yourself and balancing yourself. And with all the strength you've been putting in this for somebody to be praying on this. This is so fucked up. You could be dealing here with a Leo, with a Libra, with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus. Anybody at that, man. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra again, Aries, Capricorn. Let me see. What is coming uh, towards Libra? We love family, friends. It don't matter. Let's see. This person is a whole fuck up. It's like they had their cake and they didn't eat it. Now they want their cake and eat that bitch too. Like who the fuck does that? Listen, this person's hurt. This person's hurt. Because you left them. This person is hurt. You know, they never thought you would walk away from them. They, they never thought that you would leave them. They thought that you would always be there. And they hurt. So whatever the fuck they're doing in the background or whatever they're doing. And they're making it look like they good. They're not good. They're hurting for you. But they're trying to destroy you in the process. Let me see. Mineira. What is coming towards Libra? Whether it's love, friends, family. It doesn't matter. What is coming towards Libra? Yeah, this person was a whole, whole fuck up. This person that you were dealing with or this person that you're dealing with had so many secrets and lies and manipulations and fucking studying your energy and just chaos all over the motherfucking place. They caused you so much problems, dramas, burdens. You know, they caused you so much shit in your energy and still... Till this motherfucking day is what she's telling me. They're holding secrets from you. It's like, you're very intuitive. 
Libras, a lot of you here are psychics. You're human fucking lie detectors. Like, you know when the bullshit's coming. You know when the bullshit's there. But a lot of you have chosen to stay in the bullshit. A lot of have a lot of you have chosen, you know, to entertain the fuckery. And I'm not saying nothing bad about it, because I've entertained the fuckery before, but I feel like Libras, you did it for a reason, you feel me? Because I feel like at the end of whatever the fuck happened here or whatever's going on here, it's like you're gathering up information, gathering up information and gathering all the way down to the end and then boom. I'm going to drop you like it's motherfucking hot. But there's a lot of secrets and lies that you still don't know about a person here. It could be a, a person you were with. It could be a family member. It could be anybody. Else, but I feel like... It's coming from a person you were with. They're holding a lot of secrets, man. And I feel like they come in your way. But they're very unloyal. It's like this person cannot be trusted. Let me see. What else? There's two people here that want to come your way. Yeah. You know why they want to come your way? Look how they are. They ain't happy. They burden up. Whoever they with, they're not happy. If there was somebody, they lying. There's a lot of secrets that they were holding on from you. There's a lot of things that, you know, was happening to them and is happening currently. If you left this person already and you said, fuck you and get the fuck out of my way, this person's going through it really bad. They have somebody that bumped into them that's sugarcoating a lot of shit, promising a lot of things to them. But they're actually going to leave them like this in a tennis store. They're going to backstab the fuck out of whoever you were with. Because I feel like even though you moved on or whatever the case was here, you moved on, they moved on. It's like there's so much secrets, so much chaos, so much fighting, internal, like dark things with this person. It's like this person is a person that goes around and it's like instead of changing, it's like they move people backwards. It's like you want to change, you wanted to change and move forward. And I feel like you shredded a lot of a person here, their whole energy, friends, family. It's like you dismissed everybody and their motherfucking mother that had to do anything with this person. But it's like they come into people's energy with this vulnerable side. And it's mostly like manipulation, gaslighting, fucking lying. But whoever they're dealing with right now, listen, whoever they're dealing with right now is going to fuck them up. And when I tell you they're going to fuck them up, you're going to remember this damn reading. They're going to fuck their ass up so bad because you just can't come in and fuck somebody up that you were good to. You feel me? But changes are coming your way, Libra. Let me see. I feel like there's a past coming in, somebody that you were dealing with. And there's two people here. There's two people here that are thinking about you. There's two people here that are burdened up about you. There's two people here that are missing you. One is just like very closed in, cocooned in is what I'm hearing. It's like a person that, you know, doesn't know what to do, doesn't, doesn't know how to approach, doesn't even know how to be around you because they're so like in their head, in their emotions, inside themselves. It's like, you know, the hermit card is here, Virgo energy. It's like this. there's another person here that has a lot of secrets inside of them but they want to reach out to you it's like they're reminiscing about you you feel me it's like a connection that they don't know how to get rid of they've tried everything they've tried cocooning themselves they've tried to like move on they've tried to be with other people and it's like they can't seem to forget you you feel me and it's like everybody they come across they don't see you libra there's another energy that I'm picking up. They're thinking about you constantly. It's like day and night. And when they go to sleep, it's like they fall asleep thinking about you. And they wake up thinking about you. But this other energy that I'm picking up here is like three energies in here. It's like they're going through really bad. Because they backstabbed you so many motherfucking times. That if they would have thrown one more fucking sword in your back, it wouldn't have hurt you. That's how bad this person fucked you up. Or is fucking you up. Let me see what else here for Libras the world Libras because you're moving forward listen I cannot make shit up they're manifesting some crazy shit behind the scenes they probably know somebody that does spells know somebody they can go to they're probably seeing psychics and all kind of shit try to get you back but Libras you're strong it's like you're picking up the bullshit but you gotta be careful because you're moving forward and you're moving forward with a lot of gifts it's like you're doing you right now. It's like you're moving forward and you're not really looking for a commitment. But somebody's coming your way. But I feel like 
with all the chaos that I'm seeing here and all the chaos that you've been through and all the pain and suffering that I see you going through inside, but you're still moving, is like you're strong, you're powerful, you have that strength. It's like nothing's going to stop you. <laughs> nothing's going to stop you. You're going to move on to whatever the fuck you want, but you're moving in with a lot of pain. But the strength is there to help you. It's like you've done so much thinking over and over again. And there's two people here that don't want to leave your energy. There's a king of cups in the bottom of the deck. I believe somebody here loves you. Really. I believe these two people love you, Libra. But one is a fuck up and one doesn't even know what to do. Let me see. What else for Libra is here, Minera? Look at this. I cannot make this shit up. Listen. I feel like a lot of you are psychics here. I feel like a lot of you have a lot of intuitive sides. You know, intuitive. Oh, God, are we serious here? I feel like a lot of you are intuitively guided. I feel like you see shit coming. I see like you. It's like a human line. That, it's like you're a fucking human line detector. You know, I might just name the video that. It's like, you know when the shit is coming. I feel like a lot of you are psychics. You see the things coming. You try to work spells to stop things from coming. But I feel like for some of you, it's fading for some reason. Because I feel like this person is moving around a lot. It's like they're moving a lot to different people. And it's like, they bumped into somebody that knows something about witchcraft. And I'm not talking about a witch and a coven, people. Witchcraft is a brujeria. It's just the way that they put it and the way that we got to say it. But it's, it, this is say voodoo. They're doing spells and shit to keep you trapped. If you haven't moved on, if you haven't found love, if you haven't found the right person, if you wanted to be with somebody and it's like you don't know how the fuck or what the fuck happened is because this person did a lot of shit for you not to move on. And let me tell you something. You don't got to go out there and do voodoo to fucking stop somebody. We intentionally with your mind, with your brain, with your eyes, with your mouth, with your thoughts, you could stop somebody from moving on. Because I see that you're moving forward. You want the world. You have the world with you. But it's like every time you move forward, it's like you get stuck there in thinking mode. But there's a person here that really loves you that wants to come back. But there's a person that loves you but is trying to manifest you with spells. This person that I'm picking up here, this whole other energy, there's like three energy here. It's a whole damn fuck up. And they're going to go through it really bad. There was somebody right now that's going to fuck them up. And they're even thinking about this. It's like they're sitting down thinking about this. Like saying, they're going to fuck me up. I know it. But I'm going to keep on going. Because I want to be with this person. Why? Because they can't find nobody else. Why? Because nobody else wants them. Why? Because everybody that they're with, they fuck up. So they found somebody now that is a fuck up. And they know it intuitively. They're picking it up. But they don't give a fuck. They're moving forward. It's like they're blaming everything on you. It's like whatever is going on here with this person and another person or people or family and friends and everybody that they've spoken to is like you're the problem, not them. Don't drink from anybody's cup. Don't let nobody give you a cup of a drink, water, soda, beer, wine, whatever the fuck it is. Don't leave your cup laying anywhere. Do not. Because I feel like somebody's going to put something on. They're going to dress their cup. Minera. You could be dealing here with a Virgo, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, another Pisces, Cancer. There's a lot of water here. A lot of water here. Fire, Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini, Capricorn. Man, there's a lot of water here. Let me see. Minera. Show me about this person. Bring it to the table. Minera. Yeah, listen. You're a person that you're destined to get money. Male or female. You're a person that has luck when it comes to money. But it came on the fence. So it means you've been losing money, Libras. There's something being manifested your way that's making you lose a lot of things. You feel me? You're, 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 it's like... The energy that I'm picking up is like you're holding on. You feel me? But a lot of things I've been doing. Somebody's been doing a lot of work here to try to stop your abundance. And it could be this person. It could be a main woman or a main man. It doesn't matter. Let me see. What else here for this spread me negative? Yeah, you listen. Libras. 
I don't know who the fuck this person is, but it's like they're in a distance. It's like you've been working your ass off without stopping and doing whatever you can, hustling, do, doing whatever the fuck you do. And you're not getting enough. It's like, yeah, you pay your bills and do whatever, but it's like the, the money goes fast. It's like somebody here from a distance is wishing you bad. It's like they're wishing you death, to be honest with you. Or they've wished you death before. Somebody here is working a lot. And I feel like it's coming from a person that you did not want to be with. You dismissed because they didn't help you in no type of way. It was like you were doing everything. You were the one to provide. You were the one that would get everything. It, it's like a person that you have to send off to a distance. You have to send them off to a distance. And they can be in a distance. Right? They don't have to be an hour away. It could be two hours away. It could be anything away. You feel me? But this person, man. Let me see what else. Minera, show me something else. This for Libra. How about this person? Else? Yeah, like you changed up. You left this person, Libra. You might have been living with this person, had a commitment with this person, or even been married with this person. It doesn't matter. But I feel like they wanted to be with you, and you changed everything around. You flipped a 360 on this motherfucker and left this person. And this is why they're trying to harm you. You're high honor, Libra. You're supposed to be getting money. You're supposed to be making money. This is your destiny is to make money. You're high honor. You're high honor here. And they're trying to take that from you. This is getting me pissed off. Give me one more of this. Listen, there's a lot to say here. A lot. A lot that's being done here. A lot. I'm only going to take these two. Look at this great fortune. Right on the bottom. That's what you deserve, Libra. That's what you're supposed to have right now. And some of you are struggling because somebody here is doing some crazy shit. Judication. Somebody here that's fucking with you is either going to be real sick, is going to get real sick because ancestors, spiritual guides, protectors, God and goddesses, deities, they don't motherfucking play. But somebody here for wishing you death is going to their deathbed. Or is going to get very sick and suffer a lot. But somebody here is wishing you death. They're wishing you. And it doesn't have to be, okay, you know what? I want so-and-so to die. I want them dead. You feel me? It could be anything like, I don't want them to move forward. I want everything to fail. That's already wishing you death. Because if you can't move forward and you fail and you don't have no money to feed yourself or your family, you don't have a roof. There's going to be a time where you're going to get all fucked up. And it's going to take it to your deathbed. Message of concern. Like this person might be ending up in jail. For everything they're doing. Karma's a motherfucking bitch. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of shit going on here. It's like they're holding you tight in their chest and they won't let you go. There's two or three energies in here. One of them loves you, but they don't know what to do. It's like all they do is think, 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 and they don't move forward. It's like they they try to move, take three steps forward, and it's like they take, they take 20 back. It's like they don't know how to approach you. But it's like they've been backstabbed too, and it's like they don't even know. Look at this, Libra. You hold that motherfucking reading. It's like they want to come towards you and tell you how they feel and be with you. But it's like they don't even know how to do that. You feel me? It's like, you know, I don't know. Somebody here. Somebody here fell in love with you in some certain situation that was happening here. That you were either fucking with somebody or just messing with somebody. Or something here happened with somebody here. And it's like everything went chaotic and broke down. And I feel like it was something that had to do with somebody that came in. It was like, yeah, we're doing this little thing. You know, dating, having sex, doing whatever, lust, passion, whatever the fuck it was. And somebody fell in love here. But somebody walked away because this person was not giving you what you deserved. But now they're regretting it here. There's a lot of energies in here for me. But damn. Minera, what does Libra need to see and know right now? On this spread. What else? Let me see. Let me see what's on the bottom of the deck. Player, energy, cheater, unfaithful, third party. 
So while you, while you were this person, or whoever the fuck this is, they were playing the whole time. They're a player. They're never going to stop. And that's not for other energies that I'm picking up in here. Because there's like three or four or five energies that walk, just came in. I was going to say walked in. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Let me see. I don't know because I just fixed the card. But they're committed, committed full. But somebody here is afraid to commit. Or Libra, you just don't want to commit to anybody right now. I don't know because I flipped these cards right. And they're just like coming out weird. Let me see what else is going to hear. One more. Alright, let me see. I cannot. Look at this. Look at this. Look how I came out on the fence. Witchcraft. I cannot make this motherfucking shit up. Even if I motherfucking tried. I haven't said that shit in a long time. Whoever here you were dealing with that you left. That you did not want to be with. For whatever motherfucking reason. Because they were not good enough. Or they didn't do, you know, they didn't give you what you deserved. Or whatever the fuck it was. They doing witchcraft. And it doesn't have to be physical witchcraft. It could be mind witchcraft. People, your mind works. You know, we had our mind working 100%. We would be moving shit and fucking people up left and right. You feel me? But a lot of shit's going on here. Man, this person either did a witchcraft and is still lingering around your motherfucking energy. Or is doing witchcraft. Or is thinking so much that it's already coming out like witchcraft. Because I could think all day long if I want to hear about a certain situation. And it's going to happen. Trust me, it's going to happen and so can you. But they're wishing a lot of bad here. I didn't think playing with lust would turn into love. I cannot make this shit up. Somebody here started with this little lust thing going on. It could have been friend with benefits. It could have been somebody you were just dating with. And somebody fell in love with you here. And now they don't know what to motherfucking do. I don't feel like that's the one that's doing witchcraft. I feel like it's this, this other energy. Your eyes see right through me. So this person knows that you know them like a book. So this person was somebody you were with and you know them like a book. It's like I'm telling you. You know the fuckery. But this witchcraft, uh-uh. They fucking you up. Wake up suddenly. So if you wake up suddenly in the middle of the night, one, two, three in the morning, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be three in the morning like everybody says. You're feeling something. You feel me? You could be getting messages, synchronicities when you wake up and look at the clock. Or you could be feeling something. I feel like some of you are getting woken up to be like... Oh my God. I feel like somebody here is getting woken up by a family member. They're trying to warn you about what's coming. Something not good is coming your way. When it comes to witchcraft, they might have sent death your way, Libras. I'm sorry. I have to, I can't, I'm not sugarcoating no more shit on my channel. I say a lot, but I'm coming in stronger than ever. And next week, man, whatever comes in, I'm going to say they, If they said it mad, if they said it in a heated moment, if they said it whenever they said it, I wish they die, whatever, it's in your energy. And they might be doing witchcraft. Somebody that they were dealing with, somebody that dealing with that don't like you, that found out about you, that think that you could take this person away from them because they know this person is still in love with you. They know this person fucked you up, but they still think about you. It's like they've, they've said your name many times in front of this person. Mm -mm. You could be dealing with a Virgo here, or you have Virgo in your chart. Sudden smells, perfumes, weird orders. These are your spiritual guides, your ancestors, your protectors, your family, past loved ones. That if you smell perfume and you're alone, like right now I'm alone, I smell something pass by. I know it's one of my past loved ones or one of my, you know, protectors. Sometimes ancestors and, um, you know, guys come in smelling weird. So don't ever say nothing bad. Just so you know they're there, okay? They're trying to give you some sort of like, um, Message. I feel like they're trying to warn you about what's coming your way. Adopted. Your mother has been trying to find you. Someone lied. So somebody who was adopted and your family must have lied or somebody you know was adopted and they lied to them. You feel me? And somebody's mother's looking for somebody here. Or it could be you looking for your child. You feel me? But somebody was lied to here and they were adopted. And they could have been adopted and known that they were adopted. And they could have been lied to their whole life while their mother is looking for this person. And parents know who the mother are or the father. Don't be afraid of loss. Every love comes with a risk of loss. Don't lose yourself. 
and your fear take a chance some of you are very afraid to commit because you're very afraid you're going to lose again and they're going to hurt you and they're going to use you you know and you're going to lose but you have to be willing to take another chance you feel me but i understand because a lot of people here been a lot of people not only these two people here but a lot of people has caused a lot of chaos in your motherfucking life. You could be dealing here with a twin flame or a soulmate. You feel me? Take it how it hits you because there's two energies here that want you back. It could be a soulmate. One of them, it could be a twin flame. It could just be a soulmate and the other one's just a fuck up. Uh, you know, a person that thinks that, that you're the twin, whatever the, 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 whatever the hell it is. But somebody here really loves you and they don't know what to do to come forward they want to give you the world but they don't know how to do it but somebody here thinks that they own you and they're trying to do the man they're wishing you a lot of bad here man some of you have had bad bad health and you don't even know what the fuck is going on and it's because of all this shit but trust and believe you cannot trust me <laughs> They're even telling you. Their whole energy is here telling you you can't trust them. Caution. They're warning you about this person. And they're warning you about everything they're doing. Something's going to come back towards you. Be careful with this person. Get some help with somebody. Let me see. Is there anything here? Renee. For Libra. Moving forward. It says... Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner child, your inner youthful spirit, a fun to shine. So don't be afraid to go out there and commit. Don't be afraid. Fuck the committing. Don't be afraid to go out there and go out and have some fun. You know, if you ain't got no friends, go out by your damn self. Go out with your kids, you feel me? Go out with your family, whatever it is. Just go out and have some fun. Let that inner child go, you feel me? Go outside, smoke, smoke a cigarette, smoke. Whatever the fuck, have a glass of wine, whatever it is, but play. Have more fun, laugh more. I know it's hard to say. Because I go through a lot of shit on a daily basis. But I have my times where I don't stop cracking up. And whoever's around me, they cracking up and they don't know what the fuck is going on. You feel me? Because we need those moments. We need those playful moments, that child, that inner child to come out. And if you are wounded as a child, let that child come out. And just pretend for a moment there that what happened to, you know, when you were little, the traumas that you have, erase it and imagine it different. And let it come into your energy because sometimes that helps. Okay. Let me see. Let me give you a magic card as an advice here, Minera. What is here for you? Okay. It says Tree of Life. True wisdom and making good choices in life. So you need to start making good choices and start removing all these bad energies up from around you. I feel like a lot of you have, but they're following you around, they're lingering your energy, and some of you feel bad for somebody here. But there's somebody that truly wants to come in here, but they have to be ready to come in. If not, they cannot come in. You won't let them in. I'm going to give you numbers. Two. Nine. I don't know, 999, 11, 12, I don't know why 9 is popping up so much, 3, 4, 5, use those numbers, and this is only going to be for Libras, so if any cross watcher that's done some fuckery here, it's not going to happen, bro, I won't let it, it's going to be first, middle, last, initial for you, this person, play those numbers, every week don't change the numbers for some reason. Or it could be numbers that are significant significant for you for something. Okay, you got a D here. You got an N here that could also be a Z. You got an X here. Y'all already know me. X could be in somebody's name, but to me it's always an X. You got an S here. You got a T. You got an E. You got another E. So double E and somebody's um, initials and name. You got another N that could also be a Z. You got an R. You got another N that could also be a Z. Damn. 
So that's significant for somebody's name here. You got an I, which could also be an H. You got another D. You got a lot of doubles. Okay, you got a straight I. You got another E. So E is very significant here. An N or Z for somebody's uh, first, middle, or last initial because you got another E. Or nickname. So let's flip. You got double Ds. I'm going to flip this double D with um this and Z because you got three NZs on the table. Let me see what I can get you. That NZ came back. It wants to stay. You got an A. Okay, so let me flip this and Z. And let me flip one of these E's because you got four E's on the table. N and Z is very significant for somebody's first, middle, or last initial or nickname. Okay, I'm going to put it back here. You got a T here. I'm going to flip this NZ and Z and I'm going to flip another E. You got a lot of E's on the table. Listen. This N right here and this Z is very significant for somebody. So I'm going to leave it over here. And you got an L that came back. All right. So you got another E and you got another N here, Z. Let's flip them and see what comes out. Very significant, that N here and that Z. You got double E's here. So somebody must have double E's in their name. That's very significant here. You got three E's. I'm going to flip these two and see what I can get you. F. <laughs> and you got another E. Yo, I'm going to give it another try. Let me see. Let me flip this other E. Oh, you got a D. I love you, Am, and I wish you the best of luck. And I'll see you later, my loves.